You're gonna learn some things, I hope you learn some things, and basically it is going to be high school advice. So whether you are an incoming freshman or you're a sophomore and you still feel like you don't know everything because of course last year half of your year got cut in half anyways. So even though we're going online, I feel like we still need high school advice. So without any further ado, let's get started so the first thing is i cannot say this enough take classes that are going to help you reach your career you really really want to do this if you're going into um sports management like i am i take a sports marketing class at school so something that is going to bring me to my career um, another example is if you're going into nursing, maybe take like biomed or something like that. The next thing is talk to your teachers if you are having problems. Freshman year, I took biology honors, which is a junior class. I struggled. I sucked at science. Honestly, the worst decision. Shouldn't have took that class. But I did, and I got through it. I struggled. It was the first C that I ever had and I actually sent a note to my teacher and I was like, look, I made this full on study guide and I still got a 50 on the test. I'm really trying and pretty much showed her that I was trying and after that she really stayed down and she really helped me. If you show the teachers you care, they will help you because I thought she was a butt hole. I just didn't like her. She was not my favorite teacher. And, but she still helped me. It wasn't that she hated me. It was just, I guess she thought I wasn't trying. And when I acted like I cared and pretty much put that to her, she finally helped me out, you know? Um, next thing is start thinking about college. Freshman year is not as bad, but stay on top of your grades and start researching colleges. At least try to figure out what you want to do. If you don't know what you want to do, you might want to start figuring that out. By sophomore, especially junior year, you need to start doing college tours and looking online and just having all of that put together. The next thing is get involved. Sports, clubs, any of that good stuff, you need to be in it. It will help your college, your college, your high school experience so much you will meet so many amazing people i cannot tell you how many people i have met in the past few years just doing soccer i've made so many friends because of course there's jv and varsity so you have twice as many people on the team rather than you did in middle school so there is just so many people that you meet and they're amazing and you'll meet so many upper Classmen and upperclassmen can really give you advice. I will go back to that in a second Next thing is make a group chat at the beginning of the course. I Recommend this times a thousand if you weren't there Maybe you were absent or you had a doctor's appointment. You got checked out You completely zoned out and missed the notes This will be your best friend. It doesn't have to be a group chat of the entire class it can only be a group chat of like maybe five people because honestly someone is going to know if you're like you got a soccer game and you got back at one o'clock in the morning and you have a big assignment due tomorrow and you just cannot do it and your friend comes in clutch on that group chat you're done if you don't understand something your friend in that group chat make a group chat use it with caution don't let your teachers find out because some of y'all are not slick with that at all um, the next thing is take classes you are actually interested in. Don't just take them because your, your best friend's taking it or whatever, whatever. Take classes that you're interested in. Um, there's really not much to that. If you're going to take a class like, I don't know, 
parenting, I took parenting. Um, if you're going to take parenting and you don't want kids, what's the point? You know? Like, I, if you take sports marketing and you're not even interested in that at all, it's not going to be a fun class. You're not going to be able to get through it. And you're literally going to hate it. Take classes you're interested in. Next thing is stay out of drama. It makes so much difference. I know during my freshman year, it was a bunch of girls um, that just didn't like me. And honestly, I don't really care. But they made barf noises as I walked up the stairs one morning. And honestly, it was during soccer season. Why am I going to, even if it wasn't during soccer season, why am I going to go and get in trouble for people that aren't even worth my time? You know, don't start drama with people. They're not worth your time. If they don't like you, oh well. Just show them that you're amazing and you're not dealing with it because most of the time that is what's going to make them go away. You know, it's not, oh my god, I'm going to beat you up and all this. It's not all of that. It's not all about that. Um, next thing is go to events. Homecoming, prom, military ball, football games, whether it's like a pink out or a white out or powder, power puff, powder puff, whatever it is, the girls football, do all of that. It will make your high school experience so much better. High school sucks, but there is stuff that can make high school good. Sports, clubs, friends. You can make high school good, believe it or not. Um, so I definitely recommend going to all of those. Not all of them, but like, y'all know what I mean. Um, next thing is be selective with your friend groups. There are going to be some people that just want to be friends with you because you're on the football team or people that just want to be friends with you because you have a car or because you have a pool in your backyard or because you're smart and you're good at math and you're going to give them the homework answers. Be selective with your friends. These people will stab you in the back with literally no thought about it. They don't care. So you have to care about yourself and you have to definitely be selective with your friend choices. Um, next thing, going back to the getting to know upperclassmen. They can give you so much advice and it's just really nice to have upperclassmen friends. I had a really amazing upperclassmen friend. He just graduated and he was honestly amazing. He took me to school. He took me from soccer practice sometimes and he was just a really cool person. Taught me a lot of things, introduced me to a lot more upperclassmen and he was always just kind of like there to have a good laugh and he was definitely living up his high school years. I can tell you that for a fact. Um, the next thing is, as soon as you get your schedule, ask upperclassmen about your teachers. Whether you are a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior. Ask people about your teachers. Because if someone says, oh my gosh, you need to get out of that class. That teacher is awful. She's not going to teach you anything. You need to bounce up out that class, you know? Not saying listen to everyone because some people, they may just be like, oh, like, I don't like this teacher. Ask them why you don't like that teacher. Oh, because they were always on me about my hair. Okay, well, I don't think you're going to have a problem with that teacher because you don't really care about your hair. Um, ask them, ask them why. Because if they always, like, got on their nerves that they just never let them go to the bathroom if you don't ever go to the bathroom anyways who cares you know so ask them why and make sure but if you hear the teacher is really bad go ahead and get up out that class because it will hurt it will hurt next thing is do not overload yourself it's okay to take a break but do not overload yourself. Don't do marching band, ROTC, soccer, SGA, beta club, chess club, and like four volunteering things. You don't need to have, you don't need to be running and running and running and running and running and running and running. 
you know, that's what you do when you're on the cross country team or the track team. You don't need to be going from this thing to this thing to this thing to this thing. Don't overload yourself. You're gonna get really tired and you're gonna get really, really overwhelmed. It's okay to do like one club, maybe two sports throughout the year. That's fine. Don't overload yourself because it will stress you out so freaking much. And the last one is honestly just to stay organized. Teachers hate when your binder is just everywhere. You don't want to be walking down the hall and someone bump into you and your papers go flying all over the hallway. If you stay organized and they were all like in the little clips and everything, you probably wouldn't have that problem. I've actually seen this happen for sure. That's why I'm saying that. Stay organized. Dividers, folders, binders, notebooks. Write your notes organized. Keep everything together because your high school teachers expect that from you. They expect you to be organized. They know not everyone's going to be organized, but it will save your life, even online. Keep yourself organized. Get a planner, write, every, write out your due dates and everything. Most of the time on your class syllabus, they'll give you the dates of like everything. Put that in your calendar, put that in your notebook, whatever. Write that down, put it in your phone calendar or whatever stay organized. You need to know when you're going to have a test due. You need to know when your homework's due. You need to know when you're going to have a quiz this day or maybe like if you stay organized with your notes and with your life, it'll be so much easier rather than freaking out and be like, oh my gosh, I have a project due tomorrow and I haven't even started, but I have a chess club meeting. I don't know why I keep saying chess club and a swim meet tonight. So I'm not going to have time to finish it. If you stayed organized and you remembered, maybe you would have started on a while back. Another thing, don't procrastinate. Just thought of this one, do not procrastinate. Um, high school projects are normally a lot more complicated than middle school or just any kind of projects like that. My English teacher this past year gave us a project and I promise you it took me an hour every single night every single night and we had about two months to do it and there was people that did it at the last moment and they were like I cannot I cannot do this it was crazy I got 100 on my project I seen people that got 20s on their project we were in an honors class it wasn't something you expected but when you procrastinate even honors kids can't catch up that's just point blank period. So that is all my high school advice. Um, any questions, put in the comments below. I will most likely respond, probably. But yeah, even though we're doing online this year, I think a lot of this stuff is still so freaking helpful because a lot of this you're still going to use. But... Without any further ado, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Peace out. Bye guys. It's